What are you doing up? Yes, I know. I promised to redo a bedtime story, and I did. I brought one right here. I wrote it myself. And yeah, you can keep it. Look, you gotta go to school in the morning. I know I'm leaving for Europe, but uh, it's just for work. Daddy's not on vacation, and I'll be back in a few days if everything goes all right. But I need you to go to bed. Uh, you want to listen to this story, or are you gonna just be a turkey all night? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not reading Laura Ingalls Wilder again. No, for the tenth time. No. No Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe. No, I'm not doing that again. This is a good story. <laughs> well, at least give me a try. All right. Well, I love you too, honey. Now you get some sleep and you let me read this, okay? All right. Once upon a time, <laughs> a long time ago, there were these two wizards. And these wizards were incredible. One was a beautiful lady with the most beautiful eyes and she could think up the most craziest things in her mind, the most unimaginable places and scenes. And she would go to Fritz. Yes, her husband's name was Fritz. And Fritz had the hands of a wizard. And with his hands, he could make anything that his wife, Thea, imagined come to life. He could make it a reality. Once upon a time, as all these stories begin, in a city far, far away, there lived two wizards. The first wizard was a wizard of the mind. She was so powerful. Her imagination knew no limits. She was an amazing person to talk to. And the words that flowed from her mouth sounded like music. Her words were so beautiful that another wizard fell in love with her, and his name was Fritz. And Fritz was a wizard of his hands. With his hands, he could make anything come to life. He could build whole cities, whole sights and sounds, whole worlds of fantasy, and he did it all for the woman that he loved. Thea was her name, and she would imagine the most fantastic situations and places, and then go to Fritz and ask him to make them a reality. And he did this for her time and time again. Their love was so powerful and their creations so magnificent that people used to say that their hearts were combined, that the mediator between the head and the hands must be the heart. And it was proven because with their love, together through their hearts, they were able to create a vast utopian world and everybody was pleased. As with all of these stories, something dark rose from inside the city. A new leader came into power. And though he respected the wizards, he had machinations to cause great evil out into the world and use the wizards' powers for his own benefit. He went so far as to make a deal with a great evil devil named Moloch. Moloch lived far away in a deep underwater 
city that had sunken ages ago down, down into the depths of the frozen ocean. Moloch went by many names in his life, and in his death throes, his slumbering sleep, deep in this forbidden, forgotten city, the rays of evil still emanated from his body, from his mind, from his spirit, and caused great pain to men all over the world. Many men, like the leader of the city the wizards lived in, wanted the power of Moloch to help them defeat their enemies. So they would send souls of men down into the depths of the lost city for Moloch to swallow, swallow their souls whole and destroy them forever. The leader went to the wizards and asked them to make a creature of great beauty that he could send down into the city for Moloch to be entranced by, to be controlled by. And the wizards, out of fear, complied. They built a female robot, an android creature, combining the soul of a human and machinery together because no human being could look upon Moloch and not be driven completely mad and insane. This creature was built out of the most precious of metals. She was gold from head to foot and moved fluidly and sang and spoke beautifully. Thea put her entire soul into this creature. Fritz wove with his hands the most beautiful of tapestries. He put all of his heart and soul into this work. She was a masterpiece, a spectacle of science and wizardry, magic and science combining to make a living creature with a real soul. They named it Futura, and Futura was absolutely stunning. Any man, any man at all, who came within sight of Futura was enthralled and seduced by her seduction. Whereas Fritz and Thea, everything in their life was beautiful and pure. Everything that they had put into Futura became corrupt and evil and darkness. Futura went to the leader for inspection and the leader was very pleased. He told Futura what his plan was to send her deep, deep into the ocean to confront Moloch and sing and talk and dance for the slumbering giant evil creature to make him fall in love with her, to make him become enraptured with her beauty, to fall under her spell so that Futura could send the great evil Moloch up, up into the city so the leader could destroy all of his enemies. All of mankind would fall when the great Moloch awakened from his hidden city deep, deep in the ocean. The leader sent Futura on her mission and she went obliged and willingly to her destiny. But what the leader did not know was that the wizards had a plan Inside the body of Futura, they planted a little tiny clockwork timer. And the clockwork timer 
was set to stop when Futura got to the Forgotten City and Futura would stand motionless for all time a statue in front of the great Moloch. They knew if their plan was successful, the leader would fail and all of mankind was rising to defeat him. This would give mankind time to destroy the leader and remove him from power. If it was possible and their plan worked, they would know because the great Moloch would not rise from the ocean. He would not awaken and Futura would be gone forever. Her fate sealed, their souls drained of all love, all compassion, and all of their life energies. The wizards slowly, slowly sank to depression and faded from reality, knowing they had saved mankind for the moment, hoping no one would ever go down to awaken Futura. The leader could not understand why the great Moloch did not come to his aid. He thought Futura had failed, and in his misery he took his own life as all of mankind surrounded his bunker and came down on him with all the force of good in the world. And the great city that was built by the wizards was destroyed down to the stone and everyone was unhappy and everyone lost everything homes shattered lives ruined they had to rebuild and they rebuilt on top of the grave of their leader and their wizards a new world a new world so sad yet maybe a little wiser for the fall In the years that passed, legends of Futura standing before Moloch slowly passed through the generations from one person to another, and many people wondered if it was an old story, a child's fairy tale, or if it really happened. Did Futura go down into the depths of the lost forgotten city and was she even now standing all in gold and beautiful before the evil of Moloch waiting for him to awaken and take his bride of deception and gold nobody knew but one man decided to find out and he sent a mission deep into the ocean looking for the lost city and if they succeed in finding Futura and finding the lost city all of mankind will end when the great Moloch awakens now as you sleep, my dear, I want you to remember that I told you earlier that Moloch goes by many names, many, many names, and many, many people over the centuries have worshipped Moloch under these names. Today, in our time, he goes by another one, very famous for his infamy and his name was Cthulhu and Cthulhu lies sleeping waiting to be awakened in his city of Riley the sunken forgotten city of the ancients waiting for the day when he can awaken and destroy all mankind and swallow their souls whole 
I'm going to go on a mission to stop these men that are going there now to awaken Futura, to turn back her clockwork alarm and allow her to seduce him. I don't know if I'm going to survive, but I need you to know the truth just once, that your daddy's going to try his best. And if I fail, I still loved you and your mother, and I'll always love you no matter what. So sleep, sleep now with the angels who will protect you in this time of slumber from the great evils of the world and know that I will stop at nothing to keep Cthulhu 